<laughs> Look at that! Hey, what's up, Ghost Riders? Finally, I'm here! I'm in Nova Scotia, and guess what? I'm here today with my bro Omar <laughs> and Akia. Unfortunately, uh, Chelsea's working today, so I hopped in the car. I did a to stand drive, I drove six hours to uh, Fredericton and this morning I got up at around eight and got in the car right here with my bro and chilling today in the sun with a Kia, you'll see. 31 degrees today. 31 degrees guys <laughs> and it's crazy and I just hope, it, I, know, I, I don't know if you guys can see see it's like kind of grayish those are not clouds and that is not freaking smog that is the smoke of the forest fires so uh, <laughs> for there's like four fires right now raging there's one in Tantalon there's one near Shelburne and on our investigation in Shelburne is kind of a compromise because the fire is right next to the prison and uh, for safety and well <laughs> the people are ev evacuated from that area so we cannot go there and unfortunately we're gonna find something else but Sunday we're still going to the Dor Dorchester jail and uh, yeah so today just hanging out and watching Kia play in the water <laughs> there you go, you like that? Yeah, big girl in the water! Yogi? Yeah! Go back! Come back, Kiki! Yeah! Big girl! <laughs> Look at that! Yeah, big girl! <laughs> she loves this. She loves this shit. Do you feel better now? You good? <laughs> That's so cool. Alright. Wonder what they do for a living. I don't know. <laughs> they're not vloggers like us, no. No, or they're not a veteran. Hey guys, here I am again. Decided that yeah, you have a show of uh, Lomar getting yeah. undressed. <laughs> Decided to come to the Citadel. Yeah, we had a little stroll with Kia. Now she's relaxing at the condo and she had a good splash so yeah we decided to come to sorry for the wind guys probably you have all that wind blowing in your ears i'm sorry about the wind but yeah hey i'm gonna put myself right here in the car there you go more wind hey hey and little more here so yeah uh we're gonna um, go and check at those uh little chambers and uh come back to you later <laughs> My God, this is so. Can, can you imagine you're you're in uh, uh, in a uh, in a barge, getting ready to? I'm I'm a veteran. <laughs> you're getting ready to to this barge, the barge. You've been 
going across the channel, puking your guts out, seeing your pals and everybody yeah. crying to their mother. And this opens up. And when you hear is, and you see your buddies falling down, falling down, you have to step over them to go to the beach. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that, guys? I, I, I was a UN peacekeeper, and when I was in Bosnia, I was scared. So can you imagine those, those guys? Yeah. They were about my age. Well, about 19, 20, 21. Big respect to them, too. So, yeah. And we have a lovely lady here to be as a reactor yes. for the video. So you can kind of imagine that this would be the ocean back here and then the goal would be to make it all the way to that hotel in the end there uh, by the end of the day, which the Canadians managed to do, uh, but we do just have like a few obstacles set up uh, so that you, you can kind of get an idea of what it would be like. Uh, these wooden logs would be there to flip over any vessels coming in and the Czech hedgehogs over there would be like to stop any tanks and any vessels as well. So yeah, feel free to check out the exhibit and let me know. Awesome. Thank you very much. So guys, can you imagine the soldiers of D-Day, the Canadians and uh, the, the British that came out of Juno? That was the setting about on the beach. So the guys would be running and ducking behind all of those, trying to hold on, trying to get to that place. And today that hotel is named Canada place because it is our place at Juno Beach. It is a place that the French decided to name in honor of the Canadians that debarked. And right after that wall, after the soldiers probably crouched down behind that wall to survive, we had to go through a minefield to get to that hotel. Can you imagine, guys? And Noah saying, you got that pillbox over there with that MG42 bursting bullets like crazy. Imagine I mean, that? Yeah, I couldn't imagine any of these moments. And finally, those brave Canadians took out that, that pillbox and finally got to the beach. And, well, you know the rest of the history. And that's about, about of, uh, how a German pillbox would have been made, but mostly out of concrete. But yeah, and this is uh, a representation of Juno Beach. That is Juno Beach right here, where the Canadians uh, debarked. And you have, like, of course, Utah and Omaha Beach and you have Golden Sword. Golden Sword were uh, manned mainly by uh, British forces. Juno was manned by British and Canadian forces and um, Omaha and Utah was uh, for the Americans. The Americans debarked at Omaha and Utah. That is wow. It's great. You know, speaking of the event, though, how unfortunate it was, I'm kind of impressed with the exhibit they made here. That, that's awesome. Very to, impressive. To represent what they did like that in between the walls and to represent um, the, the, the landings in the, at D-Day, it's really impressive. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really impressed. Wow. Two. Oh, 
Yep, powder. No way. That's the powder storage. Guys, that's what I look like, the powder storage. So those barrels would have been powder. <laughs> look. Powder. 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 So, can you imagine that place blowing up or catching fire? Do you think there's real powder here? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, man. He was a bad man. They put him in a case. <laughs> Guys, look at that. Barrels of barrels of barrels of. Bonjour. <laughs> That's what it says. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus, no, man. Bro. I, I thought you saw it. I didn't even, I, I even saw I told it. He wasn't. <laughs> dude, I, oh, my God. This dude just scared the living hell out of me. Oh, God. I saw this guy. I saw him! Oh, I did not see this guy. Christ almighty. Give me a damn heart attack. <laughs> the guy is like literally in a glass case. But he's probably the guy who's taking inventory of uh, the powder or yeah. they want to represent him. <laughs> I just got really light hill, so I'm actually scared of the jeepers out there. <laughs> I think they're shooting. And have you noticed that the floor too? It's like, uh, it looks like <laughs> oh, he's firing his musket. It's the guy with the Scots Guide uh, uniform. Uh, it was uh, doing some <laughs> musket drill. <laughs> Well, no warning. Words. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the nose gonna come and get us. Yeah. <laughs> that is so freaking cool. I should have come there when I came last time because I wanted to come, but I don't know. Yeah. I had that. Well, I don't have time. <laughs> that's me. I've never actually checked in these ones. No. I've never been in these guys. Well, check them out. Yes, uh, For me, an open. Open last time. I think. Is that a real person? You're real? Oh, she's <laughs> real. No, she's real. <laughs> she's real. <laughs> Why am I losing my mind right now? Sorry. I don't know. I didn't mean to. Uh, I ran into a, a dude in the glass and he wasn't real. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So this is the orderly room. This is basically the main office of the fort. So stuff was happening here by enlistment. The whole mostly disciplinary business. So people need to be sent in here to take minutes and then cry about misbehavior. And stand in front of the desk back there and basically have them cry out. So just the opposite of the side. Back in my days, we called it being charged. <laughs> <laughs> and you're representing the 78th Regiment of Foot. Uh, yes, exactly. The, the 78 Islanders. Yeah. The 78 Islanders.
And just so you know guys, most regiments that came to Canada were mainly Highlanders regiment. Why? Because they were the most courageous regiment in the British Army. Oh, yes. Most ferocious as well. <laughs> this is an odd question, but do you believe in the paranormal? That's a that's a bad and interesting question. Are you referring to hauntedness or how many of that? Yes, because I've heard I've heard the ghost stories, I've actually yes. experienced stuff myself. So I'm just yes. have you experienced I, I haven't experienced anything, but I have heard some very spooky stories from my daughters that I would like to Oh really? Yeah. Because I think I have just like people who felt the touch and there was someone there and seeing like that's really yeah. interesting guys yeah. because you know <laughs> we're looking for bird right that now. Guys. favorite spot that's awesome that. that's awesome so we're making our way i want it to this is bro this is crazy man and I just feel so amazed when this is far from the house. So we have this corner to ourselves right now. So this is our chance to try and get some answers here. Do you have a rent on your bed too? Which yeah, I brought my rent so pod. Actually like three or four. I brought my rent pod. I got even a uh, recorder. Standing from here, I kind of don't feel like I'm in Canada. I kind of feel like you're somewhere else, right? I feel like we're in UK or in, in Europe. The UK, yeah. Or when I went in, in Portugal. Oh. Oh. So can you imagine, guys, back then, in the middle of winter, the gunners would heat themselves with when that little stove. They would what themselves? They were heat. That well, that's where they got the heat from. Yeah. Probably they would have a cable around here. That would be their, their, their spot to hang out. So, because they would be manning their guns, so probably they would have barrels of powder. Uh, no, if they would have powder. Okay, there's another gun. Well, even though, no, they were, they, were, they were sleeping here. So, that gun crew and this gun crew would sleep in those quarters because they were manning this gun and the other gun. Huge. Is it? Yeah, and it's it's, um. it's flashing hot. Someone must already do it. Was that your bed? First of all, my name is Jeff. I'm a veteran as well. I don't know if it's you that touched the antenna. Well, thank you. That round thing with the metal stick, that's called a rampod. That's gonna tell us if you're here with us, all right? Can you go near it and touch it, please? Just go near it, just go like that. It's gonna show us that you're here with us. Thank you. Thank you. That was quick. That was Who are we talking to right now? That. Did you work here? Were you one of the people on this base? Were you a soldier stationed here? Was that your gun? Is that the cannon that you were manning? Once again, my name is Jeff. This is my friend Lamar. Drop in down. So much hard. So, so much hard. That's a drop in temperature, that's normal, it's really cold here. So that's normal. 
for me. So, so much heartache. What kind of heartache? Did you miss your, your sweetheart at home? Did you miss England? Or Scotland? Were you recruited in the settlement? Thank you for talking. <laughs> Thank you. Is that you? Oh, no. No way. Thank you. Thank you so much for communicating with us. Your our settlement, so. Our settlement. So you were recruited in your settlement. Were you Scottish? Just go near that light to tell me if you're Scot from Scotland? Or are you from England? Are you Canadian? Were you born here? Lanier. 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 What does that mean? Probably Old English again. Like I was telling you, man. Old English. We're talking to old soldiers from the 19th century. They don't have the same language. They don't have the same expressions. They don't have the same... They don't say the same thing that us. You're proving, right? I'm looking at up right now. You have problems understanding our language? It's not the same English, right? It is cold, guys. It's not that cold. There's no breeze. Thank you. Can you move away, please? Just, just move away. Please? Was there an accident? So there was an accident and somebody was really injured that he was teared to pieces? Was that it? Or you got killed in, in an accident that happened here? Thank you. Can you go near that middle stick? Kata. Kata. C A U T A. I'm pretty sure that's an old, another old yeah. English name. Like that's all that's been coming out of the spirit box recently. It's old words. But I'm pretty sure because they're they're finding words that they're used to. And it's easier for them to say. Exactly. Because they used to, back in the 19th century, they used to speak like that. Yeah. Are we talking to somebody from the 1800s? The temperature look, and it wasn't doing a sound. Okay, thank you. So you were here in the 1800s. Can you move away from that now? Some sounded like Morse code. Could be they did that here. Between the three islands, McNabs, Georgia, yeah. Georgia, that's what they did. So. Or they would signal with, yeah, Morse code or the, the flags, but. Can you tell us a little bit more about the potential spirits that people see here? Are you looking? What is in your hand? 
Oh. <laughs> those are called cameras and those can allow us to see you, to film you because today there are devices that we can use to take a picture, a moving picture of you. Who's walking there? Are you pacing outside? Thank you. Can you move away, please? Just move away slightly, please. No? What are you trying to do right now? Thank you. Thank you. Again. You got the word? No, that's, again, that's a word in... Uh, that's, that's a word in, in Latin. Are you telling us words in Latin too? Issues. I can't Google it because I want to have Wow. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Okay. So uh, probably you you were trying to say something else and it's that word that came out. It's okay. You can try something else. Try again, please. Because like Spotted Ghost was telling me, spirits are, when they want to find a word, it gives a spike, and that spike gives the word. So probably he was trying to say something else, and that spike gave that word. And that's why he said, no, that's not. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna reset that. There you go. Okay, we know it's cold here, but we want to know who you are. We want to know if you were a soldier here. Y you told us that you were here in the 1800s. I want to know which part of the 1800s you were here. Was it the early part? I know. Yep. Okay. Because there's so much speculation of people saying that spirits see lights too, the ones that can't actually see you. So, what if who we're talking to right now can only see your lights and hear us? Yeah. Are we talking to one of the spirits that appear to, to visitors and locals? Sounds like someone's walking. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Pop it around up there. Yeah, it's the British flag up there, guys. It's the flag that is flapping at the wind. So <laughs> it's not somebody walking. So it just says smoke. Smoke. Those cannon when they were firing. Oh yeah. They gave a hell of a lot of smoke. Were you one of the people that tended the cannons? 
where you've won the gunners. Were you one of the gunners manning this gun? Temperature light is on, but nothing. Happens to me a lot. Can you respond with a knock, maybe? Do you don't want to touch that device so we can knock on something? Appear to us? Talk? That would be much less appreciated. We're not going to hurt you. Thank you. Thank you so much. By the way, my name is Lamar. My name is Jeff, or Jean-Francois. Yes, I'm French. And hopefully, hopefully you guys can remember us, because I do like to come here time to time. And, you know. Stay here. <laughs> There's a draft of wind that came in. I, I just, I just saw this open. That's not open. Is it? Yeah, it is open, but because there, there was no wind for the past. Yeah, I moment. felt it on the left side, like right here. Dude, yeah, kind of like below us. Do, 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 do. Look, look. Oh, oh no. guys, look. Oh. guys, oh. I, you gotta see this. You gotta see this. Nice. Guys, look at the chills. Look at the chills. Thank you. Virginia. Nice to meet you, Virginia. Do you, are you missing your sweetheart, Virginia? Do you have a message? To, oh, pass to Virginia. One of the people that worked here probably lost touch with their wife. Oh, holy oh, shit. I think we just... I think you got something. Yeah, man, man, man. <laughs> Guys, do you have a message for Virginia and the Red Buckles Berserk? Please tell the message you have for Virginia in that box. Please. Guys, oh my god. Thank you, thank you. Visual. True. Visual. We have a visual with friends. Oh. <laughs> this is so awesome, man. God, were you far away from Virginia? Is Virginia still in the UK? That's why you have a message for her? Here during the Second World War? Oh, yeah. I've active since the 1700s, 1800s. There was, this was always military. So, someone here is probably talking to us from the 40s. Do you have a name? Can you give us your name so we can find Virginia and give her the message you have for her? There, guys, it's not somebody walking, it's actually the flag. I'm gonna show it to you uh, probably after. It's a flagpole flapping in the wind. Hey, uh, that was nuts. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh! <coughs> Good. Good. So you're, you're happy that you've communicated with us and but we just 
Arch BN. What? Arch BN. Arch BN. What? I'm going to go to Google. I think we'll have to carry a freaking uh, a dictionary with us all the time. Okay, what's your dictionary? Yeah. I'll be carrying a dictionary around me. You seem to be liking the temperature. I think I'm gonna try something. I think I'm gonna try something, guys. Okay, I'm gonna pull that out for a moment. here and with that box you can be you will be able to put your own words into that box and speak into it so I will leave it here and just talk in the box Yes, that's what we're doing, an experiment. Predator. Predator. Prodator. 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 Hmm. Okay. Let me just see if... Uh... All right, let me, let me Google this stuff. <laughs> that was on the airplane mode, too, so... service to look after I'm going to try it again okay right here. Age. I'm 49. Are you talking about your age?
right there. Dude. <laughs> you hear that? Age. I'm 49. Are you talking about your age? I'm 49. Are you talking about your age? Oh my god. And that wasn't us. No. <laughs> no, that wasn't. That was, that was someone else in this room. That was a clear EVP. <laughs> Dude, Dude. That's my first Hear the footsteps. It's hard with the freaking flag to I know, know if it's really footsteps. But what if you were actually hearing a bit of that, footsteps like, and then also the flag at the same time, like a mixture? Because sometimes it, it sounds like it's the you know, like yeah, rocks like sliding, like a boot on your foot on yeah. that kind of surface. You know that sound yeah. and the flag flapping is not the same sound. Dude, you gotta save that one. Oh yeah. I don't know how, but I, yeah, I know there's a memory card in there, but that I need to help, buddy. Yeah, we can figure that out. Yeah. Good. I'm not taking any more. Uh, wait. Okay. I'm gonna try another one. That, that's all right, too all right. Okay. Metis. 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 These are all old Latin words. Yeah. And back in the day, they, they, ha they had to learn Latin because um, the masses were Latin. Oh. In the 18th and 19th century, most of the masses were in Latin. Wow. Yeah, that makes sense too. So, okay. Can you please speak clearly that device? Okay, I'm going to leave it right there and please Clearly. Could you breathe or make a sound for us to let us know you're here? Do it again for us. Sacred. Secret. Sacred. 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 Oh, sacred. <laughs> I just talked about church. Oh, yeah. I just yeah. talked about yeah. church. They were speaking Latin at church. Sacred. Okay. Some back. I don't want to. De oh, there's a volume. It's on the other side? Yeah. Nobody talks to us. <gasps> oh. Nobody talks, Nobody talks to, us. to us. Well, I'm glad we can talk to you. Wow. And I'm glad we can communicate. Thank you so much for trying to talk to us and doing your best. Wow. I'm going to yeah. save that one. I'm going yeah. <laughs> to save yeah. that one. That breath went. That was. So, yeah, it was. 
somewhere in here. Is it? I went, whoa. Yeah. It's a, whoa. Whoa. Guys. That is crazy. That's crazy. We had yeah. responses with the ramp on and everything. It was. Wow. Audrey. Audrey. Audrey, are you the woman that's seen here? So I've put... Thank you. Thank you, Audrey. So you seem to be liking that light, right? That's a good way to communicate with us. Wait to show Chels. <laughs> and especially that Venus. Oh, that's fire. There's a fire, guys. Bro, someone's on fire. Something's on fire. Oh, no. That's why we'll be hearing uh, firefighters. Uh, I don't know. Or it's oh, there. Oh, it might be. It actually might be. Yeah. Um, or it might be an idiot that set the fire. Holy shit. Watch. Okay. That wasn't as I expected. I know from here you can actually kind of see the area where the fires would be. Yeah. Um, and actually we're breaking the law now. <laughs> We're not supposed to be on the handbag. Oh but that's not a house, guys. That's that's forest fires. That that's a spot. That's wood. Or probably, I don't know. Yeah. Guys, it's the situation here in Nova Scotia. Just a little spark will uh, light up something, and you just have the proof right there. So. Oh, who is that? Oh, 
Oh my god. I'm going deep for you. I'm gonna have to disconnect it. Look, he's dead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Having fun. That is dedication, guys. That is real dedication. <laughs> now you're happy, God. So, well, after Lomar's bath, uh, to get the sticks for IKEA and the crazy investigation, little investigation, or I might say, little incursion into um, uh, Halifax Citadel. Great day in Halifax. The weekend is just starting and you know this guy all the information is going to be down there and if it's your first time here well consider subscribing always refreshing stuff and paranormal so until next time guys i'll catch you on the next paranormal adventure <laughs>